What do I mean by jamboree? They go and get money, they sit and wait next time. Nothing. Sense of responsibility is not there. So when you restructure, you say, federal government, you are in charge of federal finance, foreign affairs, defense, central police, not state police. And then you now say, okay, education is a state matter, health is a state matter, agriculture is a state matter. By the time you really streamline this, federal government becomes concise. That is restructuring. Remember, restructuring is a natural way of life. A child who is born is restructuring every day. So is a country. The United States is battling with its own restructuring. If you remember what is going on, the Trump phenomenon is an attempt to restructure what he said. Britain restructuring is going on. So if you ever stand in the world of restructuring, it means you have never understood the meaning of restructuring. Do you think that uh, when the, <clears throat> the national chairman of the APC, uh, Mr. Oyego, said in his submission that um, this administration, uh, that's the APC administration, would rather look at improving jobs, the job figures for the people of this country, rather than looking at restructuring at that time. Between that time and now, it's a little less than six months. Do you think that the APC will have a rethink, perhaps, to meet the aspirations of people in this country when the issue of our restructuring comes up again? I don't think APC will ever do anything about restructuring except defending what it wants to do. Two, the national chairman of APC, I think he speaks for himself. I'm not sure he speaks for the party. Because as it is in this country, there is no effort to increase jobs for anybody. No, no. What he said was that this administration, so he's speaking for his party, the APC, that they would rather look the way of improving the lives of the people by creation of jobs and not necessarily restructuring. That's what I mean by action speaks louder than words. So please leave Oyegu out of the progress of this country because he speaks in one side. Mr. President is in another side. They are talking of work, jobs, and so on. That's not the direction of the government. The government is consolidating its power. When restructuring takes place, creation of jobs will come naturally. What do I mean? The states are overtaxing the companies. The manufacturing companies are dying and they're crying every day. Nobody's listening. We have federal taxes, we have state taxes. In some states, they just go and lock up a factory. They want to produce all the tax papers they are paid. Then they will pay again. Can you make progress with such a regime? You can. So restructuring, which is actually a very fundamental way of looking at things, will change our attitude. In this country today, Lagos, yes, can survive because it has multiple sources. But what of states like him where they are more interested in building statues and so on? Okay. So you notice restructuring, yes, is good, but it must be positive restructuring. Let's go to Abuja with uh, Ajuri. He has a question for you. Ajuri, please go ahead. Good morning, Mr. Wazurike. Uh, the question I have for you is, you know, as I've listened to uh, some of your statements, what really strikes me is, you talked about kind of jobs, you know, and the, the lack of jobs. Now, I want to know whether in your mind there is any kind of difference between what you've, what you've seen over the last two years and what you've seen over the last, since 1999. Because right now the country is saddled with a massive recurrent, uh, recurrent bill across MDAs, uh, running into hundreds of billions, uh, trillions when you put it all together as a result of the steady buildup of government employment, sometimes that we didn't even need, just so that gov previous governments could say, oh, we created jobs. Meanwhile, all they're doing is hiring people. We can't afford it. So now, what do we do uh, moving forward? What's the solution? Other than just kind of restructuring as a broad term, what specifically can be done to create jobs by this administration? Now, the first thing, if I am to advise the government and if the government is going to listen, at the moment, we have serious fuel supply crisis. If you go to oil producing areas, they refine crude oil. We asked the government at national conference to set up standards to regulate the production on a small scale. They call it modular refineries. 
But this government said no. I am aware the vice president said they are going to allow 10 or 6 of them to come up. There are plans. Some people are trying to import. But the existing ones, yes, they are crude. If they are crude, what do you do? You help. And if you help them, you show the way. And when you show them the way, you are generating employment. Now, let me even ask you this. Look at what you are talking of employment. Look at what's happening with Enos and Motors. It's the number one giant industry we have today in the country. By an individual with little education. And what is the government doing to help? I praise the Army. I praise the Air Force. They have understood the value of innocent motors. Because if you can mold, mold anything for a vehicle, it can mold for an aircraft. And that is what I'm emphasizing. But this government is more interested in consolidating powers than in moving the economy forward. And that is where they got the mistake. They made a mistake almost three years ago. And they have not realized it. And suddenly there is no time.